the man of mystery, Eric the Prince of Air, or else most of you might know him, the great Houdini. Houdini, from what we can tell, is probably the most mysterious man anyone's ever known. He grew up and claimed to be born on April 6 of 1874, when in fact, oh, in Appleton, Wisconsin, when in fact he was actually born on March 24th in Budapest, Hungary. His, birth, his original name at birth was <coughs> Eric Weiss, and he was, uh, his dad moved to America uh, when he was one years old and making $750 a year. His family also moved with, uh, to his father when Eric was two in 1876. He started his acting and performing when he was nine. Wasn't paid or anything, but it was for friends and family. He called himself Eric, the Prince of Air. It was when he did a trapeze act in front of some friends and family and tied uh, a rope to two trees. The magician, Relbet Houdin, was his most famous and most favorite French performer. Harry took the name Houdin and put an eye at the end to have Houdini, so he wanted to infer on his favorite magician. He added Harry as his French name, so it would take up uh, to replicate his uh, Hungarian name of nickname of Hedy. Hedy Harry started his professional acts at the age of 17. Is when he performed for performed mag magician acts at civic unions, churches, halls, etc. He then went to Coney Island Park and started performing uh, live in front of audience for 20 shows a day. He performed with his little brother, who eventually called himself uh, Harden, Harkin. There, he met his future wife, Beatrice Raymond, also known as Bess. She was an uh, actress and uh, singer. He then went on from Coney Island and started performing for the Welsh Bro Cir Brothers Circus. This is when he would this is when his handcuff act started coming to play. He offered $100 to any man or woman that could bring in handcuffs and that if he could not escape them, he would pay them 100 bucks. He never had to pay. He even had police, uh, law, law enforcement, federal agents all come in, hand him handcuffs that were supposed to be unbreakable. Never had to pay once. His big break came when he went to Scotland, Scotland Yard in England. He eventually went to the yard and the police wrapped around a pole, handcuffed behind the pole. That's when everyone started noticing how, how good this guy really was. He was able to break free and his, it skyrocketed from there. Mainly what he did in England was he would go into rivers and handcuffed in a box and he would try to escape. Eventually he would, but the, he was a true showmanship. He would stay underwater for at least half an hour, able to breathe, because he trained himself in a big bathtub that he bought himself every day. The reason that he stayed down so long is not because he couldn't get out, it's because it was part of the act. He was able to escape from his imprisonment within the first three minutes, but he stayed down just to get a rise out of the audience. Harry Houdini was a very family-oriented man. He made enough wealth that towards the end of his acting days, he said, I think I may retire. I cannot take my money with me when I die. And, when I, and I have enough money to live and enjoy the world. So I want to live with my family until I die. He never got that far. In McGill University, he is performing. He is doing the Chinese water torture act. So when he's hung upside down and by his shackles and he had to escape. When he was in the, uh, when he was performing, the frame jerked and broke his ankle. He still performed, but he had many day, many days that he had very little sleep. After this, he was still in a weakened condition, and one of the boxers from McGill University came up to him and asked, "Is it true that if that you can withstand any punch given to you?" 
Harry, Harry said yes. He stands up, and the guy was about to was he was about to prepare his abs, and then the guy punched him three times before he could. This caused him to have pain, uh, appendicitis, 